Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. We're building up towards Christmas, looking through the books of the Old Testament and seeing how together they built up this incredible picture of the one who was to arrive as the Messiah, uh, Jesus, born to Mary in Bethlehem. And how the expectation and excitement was increased as book by book, God d fleshed out this wonderful prophecy and image of the one who was to come. And today we've got to the book of Hosea. Now Hosea, it's an uncomfortable book to read. Now some books are hard to read because they're a little bit hard to understand. Hosea is easy to understand, but it's hard to read because the subject matter is one that really is not comfortable. In fact, if you think back to when we talked about the Song of Solomon, this wonderful expression of love and devotion, Hosea covers the other side of that, the other side of love whenever it's not returned, it's not respected, when love is betrayed, when the covenant of marriage is broken. And that happens both in a physical sense sometimes and in a spiritual sense. Now Hosea had to marry a woman called Gomer and this woman Gomer was an immoral woman and she didn't change after she married the prophet. She continued in her sin. She left him. He came. He took her back. He wept over his, his heart was broken. And this is given to us so we can see a picture of how we break God's heart whenever we rebel against him. And whenever we turn away from him and we allow our heart to be captivated by other things, much less worthy of our attention than our Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Now, Hosea's name, it's actually the same name as that of Jesus and also the same name as Joshua. All three names are different spellings of the Hebrew name, Yeshua, which means salvation. And, you know, at one point, Hosea had to actually pay money to buy his wife back. He had to pay another man money to get his own wife back. And that's an awful story, but it's a foreshadowing of Christ. Because even though we belonged to Christ anyway, I mean, he, he was, as the, the, the second person of the Trinity, he was the one who created us. And yet he had to buy us back with his blood on the cross of Calvary. As some people have said that makes means we're twice his. We belong to him because he created us and we belong to him because he redeemed us. Now, also, Hosea said that this that was going on with his wife was a picture of what was going on with the people of Israel and that God would restore them and that in the last days they would return to God and to David, their king. But, of course, the David that ultimately the people were to return to was Jesus, the son of David and the Lord of David and the God of David. It's also Hosea, by the way, who prophesied something that is mentioned when we hear the Christmas story every year about Jesus whenever he, uh, after the wise men had come to worship him and Herod came, if you remember, and killed all the young, children, young male children in, in and around Bethlehem, that Jesus, uh, his, jo Joseph was warned in a dream and took Jesus and Mary to Egypt and it said, thus fulfilled what was written by the prophet, out of Egypt I called my son. And that is talking about Hosea, because Hosea is the prophet that said, out of Egypt I called my son. And there's something else that Hosea prophesied, which, which at, the, at the time it looked like it was just talking about Israel, but now we look back and understand it was talking about Jesus. In Hosea chapter 6, verse 2, he says this, after two days he will revive us. On the third day he will restore us that we may live in his presence. And that that was actually a prophecy of the resurrection of Jesus. That after two days and on the third day that he would be raised from the dead. So here in this little book of Hosea with what we could say was its depressing subject matter of marital unfaithfulness and a, a man's heart being broken, nevertheless we have this beautiful picture of Jesus Christ being painted for us. I'm so grateful that God gave us that revelation. I'm so grateful that the excitement built for the coming of Jesus and I'm so excited to belong to Jesus today. I pray that you will enjoy his presence today and join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drahada.